Welcome to this Bluehorn video on how to use our invoice reconciliation feature. For the sake of this demonstration, we'll be using fictional data in our demo account. From within a broadcast television, cable television, or radio worksheet, you're able to access the invoice reconciliation feature in the green Create Order drop-down menu. Simply drop down and scroll down to Upload Invoices. Click and you'll be redirected to the Upload Invoice portal. From here you'll be in our Post By section where you can add an invoice. Here you may drag and drop files or simply click on this area and access your downloads or your files. This is the same as any other attachment. From here, you'll upload a text file, txt, which can be accessed either via rep request or via tvinvoices.com, radioinvoices.com, and the like. You can add the invoice and you'll see it upload with a green check mark to confirm. To remove the file, simply click the red box. Once the invoice is loaded into that particular worksheet, Scroll down to Open Invoices. You'll see that the load status and match status are waiting. The blue dot will be filled in for load. To load this invoice into this particular worksheet, just click the blue dot. A reference key will pop up, and if you need to re-navigate where these items should look up and navigate, you can use the drop-down menus. Otherwise, just click Next. You can see that the invoice will then load into the worksheet and you will get a confirmation in the load status saying completed. You'll also notice as you scroll down that line items have populated. In this demonstration, this particular text file does not match this worksheet, so we're not going to see a match. However, you'll be able to notice that anything that populates here is what came through on the TXT file. From here, when you're ready to do a match in the of the invoice to your worksheet, you can click the blue dot under the match column. Simply click and the system will attempt to match up the line items that have loaded from the invoice with your worksheet line items. Once this is complete, you'll be able to note anything that matched or ran from these line items that populated. If they matched, you'll see a check mark in the matched column. Once you're done, if you want to see a quick reference, you can scroll down in this green navigation menu to post by report. Our post by report looks very similar to your normal order and is designed to be easy to read. You'll notice nothing matches with this particular worksheet because it was a test. However, you'll see the red items below your order if there's not a match. It will appear in green if the station or if the spots did match for that particular week and day part. Obviously, my zero lines matched here, but nothing matched in these columns where there were spots. To go back, just simply use the back arrow of your browser. You also have the ability to add manual lines to your logs. Here, you scroll down to the log section where everything has populated and click Add New Line, which is in blue next to the logs heading. Here, you can manually enter invoice numbers and line items yourself. Enter an invoice number, select a vendor, which needs to be one of the vendors on your particular invoice. You can give it a station name invoice ID, which is optional. The invoice date is the date of the invoice. Here is the spot stamp, and this is the date and runtime of the actual spot on the line item you're entering. If I'm entering a spot that ran Monday, August 13th at 8.57 a.m., it appears in this format. Keep in mind this is a 24-hour clock, so if you're entering something that ran after the noon hour, it will appear in military time. 
Then you can enter the SPAT rate, which is simply the dollar amount of the SPAT, the rating if applicable. This field is totally uh, optional. The SPAT length, a SPAT code if there is one, and you select the day of the week that the SPAT ran on. This is for matching purposes within your worksheet. Once you're done, click Save. Any remaining fields will need to be filled in, and you'll see the success field load quickly up in the corner. This is done so that you can quickly then add remaining lines without having to redo this entire window. When you're done adding lines, simply X out, and you can scroll to the bottom of your logs. Here you'll note that the invoice line item that you entered has been added to the very bottom. You can run your match again, if you so choose, and then rerun your report. For questions about our invoice reconciliation process, please email us at support at bluehorn.com. If you're not sure if your subscription level allows for invoice reconciliation, please reach out to us and inquire, and we can help you find a package that does. Thank you.